Hi friends. We're in the process of working through our Holy Week together. It looks a little bit differently though, because we're from our homes. We are going to celebrate our Holy Week festivities via our TVs. We're going to start with Palm Sunday and then move into Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and then we're going to talk for a couple of seconds about Easter. But before we do that, I invite you to say a prayer with me. Let us pray. Holy God, you are the giver of all good. We give you thanks for your presence in our lives. Be with us now, so as we enter into these Holy Week festivities, that you would be with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Friends, it's now our Palm Sunday section. See, Palm Sunday is an interesting time because Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. A donkey. People of that time expected their Messiah, their Savior, to come in the form of a mighty general of sorts. Someone who commanded armies, who would bring about a victory for these people that they had hoped for. And yet Jesus chose to ride into Jerusalem on something far from a wonderful and awesome looking horse to a very simple and a very weak donkey. I want you to pause for a few moments and take those palm branches that we sent you in an email. Cut them out, color them, and get ready. Because when you come back, we're going to talk about why Palm Sunday was so special. Have you done that now? Awesome. So Palm Sunday was important because people knew that this Jesus, this guy, was doing great and wonderful things, even if he wasn't riding and doing the amazing things the way that they had pictured him doing them. So they came out and they left their homes and they came out and they laid their cloaks, their coats on the ground. They came out waving palm branches saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I invite you to bounce around your living rooms, shouting out Hosanna and giving thanks to God for the gift that Jesus is for us. Do that now. Praise him, praise him. It's now Monday, Thursday. We know Monday, Thursday as Jesus' last supper. But when Jesus came together with his disciples during this time, a great many of them, I suspect, figured that this was another holiday meal when they came together to celebrate Passover. Jesus at this meal broke bread and he served those sitting around the table, his disciples, his students. But one of those around the table was also someone who was there to betray him. And yet Jesus still broke bread and served him. 
we encounter people in our lives that are hard to love. They are mean to us. They are mean to other people. And yet, Jesus still broke bread and ate with someone that he knew who was going to betray him. Can you think of anybody in your life that's hard to love? Yesterday, Miss Jeline led a Zoom bread making class. I invite you to go and pause this video, grab that loaf of bread that you made, and bring it back to your family. Have you had a chance to do that now? Good. I invite you to take that bread and you break it together as a family. And you share that bread together. And as you're doing that, I invite you to talk about the people in your lives that aren't so easy to love. Who are they? Why is it hard to love them? And what can you do to love them in the midst of it being difficult? Go ahead and do that now. And after you're done, continue on with this video as we move into our next song. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the wind and the rain in his hands. He's got the sun. now Good Friday. Why do we call this Good Friday? There's nothing good about today. Jesus died. Jesus was nailed to the cross and hung up so people could ridicule him and make fun of him and then die. Why do we think that this is good? It's good because it fulfills the prophecies, the predictions that Jesus had talked about so often that were predicted about him in the Old Testament. This was indeed a bad day for Jesus, but one that was there so that you and I might see our way into eternal life. I've been recording outside for one specific reason. There are no leaves on the trees right now. It's spring. You see, the vegetation and the plants that have been asleep all winter are now beginning to come back to life. And if you look, you don't see any leaves on the trees right now, but if you look closer, you'll see the buds. The buds that are going to give away, give way to leaves, to new life. When you pause this video in a second, I want you to share with your family what the gift of forgiveness means to you. With Jesus' death, we are made clean. We are granted that forgiveness from God because Jesus paid that price. So I invite you to pause this video and talk about what it means to be forgiven and what it means to also forgive one another. Go ahead and pause. Have you had a chance to talk about that with your family? What does the gift of forgiveness mean? It means that no matter how hard, how, no matter how much we try, we can never be perfect. And that forgiveness means that when we screw up, which we will, Pastor Bryce does it every single day, it means that we are forgiven because we have a God who loves us so much.
I invite you to move into our next song together. time is nearly done, friends. It's hard for us to not want to immediately jump in and celebrate Easter. There's a time in this Holy Week span where, good, where we move from Palm Sunday into Monday, Thursday, and then into Good Friday, but yet before Easter, which is where we are today. This space in between, where we're still sad about Jesus' death, but we have not yet realized the gift of the resurrection. Today, as you move about your lives together, get ready for Easter. Get ready for the joy that comes with tomorrow and the resurrection promise. Friends, I am sad that we cannot be together, but I am so grateful that we could have done this together today. Would you please pray with me? Holy God, you are indeed the giver of all good. And we give you thanks at your presence in our lives. We pray that as we wait with eager anticipation for tomorrow. We pray that you would give us the patience to remember the importance of what forgiveness truly means and the gift of the sacrifice that came from your child, Jesus. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Be well, dear friends, and I look forward to seeing you soon.